am Mrs. McDonald and I'm here to continue our story from the Berenstain Bears um, about their science fair. And I'll just begin right now. Um, this is about matter. Actual facts about matter. What is matter? Anything that has weight and takes up room is matter. There are many kinds of matter. Some kinds are heavy. A small amount may weigh many pounds. This piece of pipe is heavy. It is made of lead. Do you see him there? And then over here, other kinds of matter are light. A large amount may weigh very little. Feathers are light. A few pounds will fill my feather bed. But whatever it is, if it has weight and takes up room, it's matter. What is matter? I'll tell you. I'm a science whiz. It's just about everything there is. There goes Papa Bear. He's going to teach him something else. Three kinds of matter. I still remember from my science class that matter can be solid, liquid, or gas. Solid. A piece of matter that keeps its shape is called a solid. So here are some examples. A rock, a piece of wood, a mirror. Um, this is like an iron support beam. There are many solids. They're all around. Those rocks, that sign, this road, the ground. Now what other solids do we see? Uh, that tree, Papa Bear, look out for that tree. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's getting into trouble again. Bonk. Oh, there he goes flying. Wow, that was some solid, that giant oak tree. Yes, that was a solid, I do agree. Look at him with his headache. Ah. While Mom and Dad are making repairs, let's name some solids with the two little bears. This is actual factual bear here. How many solids can we name? Hmm, let's see. Wood, metal, glass, plastic. Rubber is a solid that is elastic. Boink. We're, we're partly solids. Claw, tooth, muscle, bone. So is the earth. Sand, soil, clay, and stone. We wear some solids. Straw, shell, cotton, feather, gold, wool, nylon, leather. Some solids we eat. Meat, sugar, chocolate, cheese, hard-boiled egg, pudding, and peas. Solid, solids are, the, are most of the things that we have known. Solids have a shape all of their own. Next is liquid. Liquid is a matter that has no shape of its own. It flows and pours. Are we ready for liquids? Ah, I see that you are. Without liquids to drink, we wouldn't get far. The most useful liquid, are you listening, daughter? The most useful liquid is what we call water. Water and how we use it. For drinking, we use water from rivers and streams and underground wells. For transportation, by using boats, we can travel where there is enough water. For raising food, plants won't grow without it. For washing, we can't keep clean without water. For fighting fires, water can put out most fires. Here's the fire boat. There she's throwing a bucket. And for keeping cool. Ah, there they're swimming. I love to swim. And here's the mill. They're using the water to power the wheel. For power, water flowing downhill turns water wheels. This wheel is turning a grindstone that grinds wheat into flour. The most useful liquid is water, it's true. But other liquids are useful too. Here are other useful liquids. Gasoline makes motors go. Oil makes them run smoothly. Dye colors clothes. Alcohol kills germs. Some liquids are useful because they harden into solids, like this glue, and nail polish, and concrete. Gas. Gas is matter that has no shape at all. It can be collected in a closed container or it can spread out in the air. Here's a gas balloon. It says, do not touch. Hmm, do not touch. Why do I think somebody might get in trouble? A gas balloon. Lucky for us, we happen to pass this is our last, this is our chance to learn about gas. Gas balloon, do not touch. So here's all the gas concealed in this container. But Papa, that sign makes it very clear. There may be a chance of some danger here. Not for a gas expert like me. I understand gases. Use this as a key. 
Solids and liquids take up a limited space, but gas is spread out all over the place. There's helium gas in this small tank. Hmm, I wonder what happens when you turn this crank. <laughs> gas, do not. I don't think he's listening to that. The balloon goes up. That's what happens, Pop. And I do not think it is going to stop. There he goes. Papa, what makes it fly? What makes the balloon go up so high? A very good question, Sister Bear. Helium gas is lighter than air. How we use gases. We cook with gas, it warms our toes. The gas in soda tickles your nose. A gas called Freon keeps things cold. Smells are gases, they warn you if an egg is too old. But the most useful gas, make no mistake, is the one we breathe in with each breath we take that we take. We cannot see it, but we're glad it's there. The gas called oxygen, that's in the air. Wow, that lesson on gases was exciting, Dad. Well, science is never dull, my lad. Hey, I have a project, so does brother. Do you have a science fair project, mother? I'm thinking of one right now, my dear. It should make the, the science of matter quite clear. The three kinds of matter are what you will see when you do this science experiment with me. Start with ice. Ice is a solid. It has a weight, it takes up space, and ice has a shape of its own. Take the ice from the freezer and let it melt. Here I have some ice. I got some to show you, even though I know you've probably seen it before. But see, here's my ice. It's solid, it has a shape. It's cold too. Okay, if you let it, if you have it in the warmth, it starts to turn to liquid. I have liquid starting in here, watch. See how it's flowing? It will change to water. Water is liquid. It still has weight. It still takes up space, but it no longer has a shape of its own. It flows and it pours. So here I have this liquid in here. I have water and see how it'll take up the shape of where it's poured. It'll take the shape of the glass. Ooh, some of it's flowing out. That's okay. And if you put it in here, it will take this shape. So it takes the shape of where you put it. Next, heat the water. Let it boil. It will change to steam. Steam is a gas. It still has weight. It still takes up space, but now it has no shape at all. Now you know that matter can change its form when the temperature gets a little too warm. Now see this? I put some water in here and it's been steaming. Let me see if I can show you that. Here it is. It's boiling. The steam's coming up out here. Woo, it's warm up here, okay? And what's really cool is if you kind of collect it, like if I put this, whoops, if I put this over it and I let the steam come up here, the water will condense and start to form back into a liquid. Watch when I take this off. Oh, it doesn't like when I do that. Okay. Now there's more water in there because it collects and it starts to change back into a liquid. That is really cool. Here's a note from Mama Bear. Not all solids are easy to change as ice, but all solids, even rock, will change if they get hot enough. I bet you know what happens to a rock if it gets hot. Here comes Mama Bear. The three kinds of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Thank you, Papa. Those lessons were fun. We really appreciate all that you've done. And thanks to you. Thank you, Papa. Those lessons were fun. We really appreciate all you have done. And thanks to your lessons, Papa Bear. We all have good projects for the fair. That's right, Small Bear. The three of you do, but I plan to make a project too. So hold everything now and wait for me. You still have to learn about energy. So that'll be the next part. Whenever um, in a couple days, I'll make part three and that'll be about energy. Talk to you later. Bye.